Veteraan Armando Marquez is 90 jaar. Hij bezoekt met zijn vrouw en zoon de afdeling van de parachutistendivisie in El Paso. Marquez was een van de parachutisten die op 17 september 1944 landde in Son en Breugel tijdens Market Garden. Hallo John. Wekelijks komen de Amerikaanse veteranen samen in dit clubhuis aan de rand van de stad. Het zijn parachutisten die hebben gediend in de Tweede Wereldoorlog, maar bijvoorbeeld ook in Vietnam of Irak. Ja, yeah, it brings back memories where they were, where we fought and all this. It, it, it's very, very interesting and important. Hier delen ze en verwerken ze hun ervaringen die ze als militair hebben meegemaakt. Het zijn de oudsten en degenen die ook echt in een oorlog hebben gevochten, die het meeste respect krijgen. You, you met my boy here? Yeah. And my wife? Thank you for your service, sir. Nice meeting you. Same here. How did you go airborne? Well, I was uh, got out kind of late. It was uh, Vietnam was already over by the time I got out of high school. Oh, oh. well, yeah. let me tell you, I'm a Vietnam vet. You didn't miss anything. Yeah. <laughs> let me tell you, you're lucky. You, you, you missed a lot. I mean, it's a good to, thing that you did. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I was, it was rough, but you didn't miss anything. But thank you for your dad uh, service. What, were you in Holland? No. Yeah. Well, good. That makes two of us. Yeah. <laughs> Aan de muren hangen veel foto's en symbolen van de parachutisten. De 101ste en 82ste Airborne Divisie werden tijdens de Tweede Wereldoorlog ingezet op veel slagvelden. Bijvoorbeeld in Frankrijk of Dardenne, Sicilië en natuurlijk in Nederland tijdens Market Garden. It was a beautiful Sunday. It was just like a, a, a drop in England. It was so nice. Our mission was uh, to uh, take a recon patrol to determine how close we could get to the bridge in Nijmegen to see if we uh, encountered any enemy op opposition. In, uh, oh, I would say uh, 12 to 14 hours, the Germans finally got into the area and started giving us hell. And we were the first American unit in World War II to seize and hold German territory. And uh, we, uh, uh, the Germans uh, uh, almost immediately launched a counterattack en uh, we wondered, well, what, uh, what's the big problem? We didn't realize at the time that we were uh, holding German territory. The Germans knew it, and they took a damn view of it, so they wanted their territory back. Well, the, the first rifle that we had for D-Day was the 30 caliber carbine. It was light, and then in Holland, we used this one here, a lot heavier, but that, that was for long distance. Were the rifles reliable? Oh, they were, they were. In fact, uh, I always carry a, am I allowed to say a, a condom? I would cover that with a condom and then put another one here, keep the dirt and the, the water out. Otherwise, it, you couldn't fire it. So the gun was your best friend? Next to the shovel, like in Holland, I prefer the shovel because they, they were sh uh, shelling us with mortars in the 88s. And if you didn't have a shovel, you couldn't dig a foxhole. And they, they, that saved many lives, the shovel. So I believe I used the shovel more than the gun. How old are you? Huh? How old are you? 90. 90, same here, 90. I busted my, my leg. My first combat jump, yeah. I had enough too. I put a long time in the hospital. Me too, yeah. I went in seven different hospitals. Get the stories bigger at these places. Oh, yes, yes, yes. After a few drinks, boy, they start bragging about this and that. and, and you, you don't know whether to believe it or not, yeah. yeah. I broke my back twice. Yeah. Hip replacement, total hip replacement, like you, I guess. De herinneringen van de Amerikaanse veteranen aan de Nederlanders zijn goed. They were all so friendly. They would give us food whenever they could in exchange for our chocolate bars. I was so impressed at uh, how the uh, Dutch people had uh, uh, organized and conducted themselves, and especially the Dutch underground. Uh, great intelligence, which unfortunately our uh, our commanding generals didn't pay a lot of attention to, and they should have. Had they, uh, they probably wouldn't have had that uh, uh, big defeat at Arnhem. Het doel van Market Garden om de oorlog snel te beëindigen, de mislukte. Maar toch voelen de meeste veteranen dat niet zo.
It was a failure because uh, it didn't succeed in the mission. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, it was a big success. It liberated Holland.